Have you tried upstream yet? What is that? <laughs> what is upstream? What up? Today we are going to be checking out the 1.17 update for Minecraft and just like playing around a little bit with the different blocks and the different things in the update. Not sure what to expect. Haven't really looked at 1.17 a lot, to be honest. So we're just gonna play around and see, see what happens. That's enough. Let's get into, I actually set up a little test world here. Uh, there's a lot of cow, can we do this? Game move. Do mob spawning, folks. Get out of here, mobs. Uh, all right, let's start by opening up the inventory and seeing what's in here. Like, what's the new stuff? Dripstone block, cool. Deep slate, I've heard a little bit about that. Cobble deep slate, cool. Polished deep slate. And then there's all the ores, but inside of the deep slate. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, of course, all the copper, all the copper. There's a lot of cool blocks. I'm excited for the moss, though. Moss revisiting the pine forest. Yeah, 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 definitely. Is there anything else cool new? I kind of just want to look at all these blocks and, and see if I find any cool ideas for some builds here. And maybe we can just like try out some different build stuff. Let's bring out and let's do this. Let's do Let's just place some of the blocks down. See what we can, what we feel. There's new dirt. <gasps> I love it. Uh, this oxidized copper, of I think people have already figured this out, but it definitely feels like it goes well with like, you know, the warped stuff and the, and the prismarine maybe, like the dark prismarine. That feels like a natural trio of blockerinos to me. Oh, candles. <gasps> nice. Goats. He's beautiful. Wait, lichen? We have already played around with this a little bit, but lichen, I think it's awesome. The glow lichen. It's gray, which is cool. This, I think this feels just like a better version of Blackstone without the, the little purple purpliness in it. I didn't like Blackstone. Um, I thought it was too dark, first of all. So the contrast is like to everything in the game is just way too high, you know? So this is a good like in between, between this and whatever stone is next, you know? Also, this has like a kind of purplish hue, which I'm just not a big fan of. But this, this I can see myself use. It's a pretty big jump in contrast, but it's okay. Should we go into a, a normally generated world and check out the terrain a little bit as well? These are the old mountains, if I'm, if I know my Minecraft. But the interesting stuff is down here, right? There's at least there's this glow like in, in the roof and that's a new ore. That's copper ore, right? Oh, here's one of these amethyst situations. Doesn't look like new cave generation to me. No, it really doesn't. It looks very familiar. I mean, I could have done my research, but what fun is that, right? What fun is that? There was some pale stone next to it. What is that? Calcite. Oh. The dreaded beam of sun that is going to be traveling upon my face during this stream has appeared right here. Let's go in creative. Calcite is cool. I like the calcite. I'm excited about the black to white gradient and the, the stone to grass gradient that is possible here. I think we're going to start by building like a little path here. Because uh, I think there's this really cool stone to grass gradient that I think could be awesome for paths. Uh, so let's start by doing like a line of cobble, if I'm not mistaken. Semi random, you know, then I think some mossy. I think we do a lot of mossy because I if I'm not mistaken, you place some lichen on some of the mossy because the glow lichen is kind of grayish in its appearance, which is good because then you can sort of pull in some more gray into the moss block that we're gonna get going after this. Let's bring in some grass here. Something like that. That already looks pretty pog, but this isn't even 1.17 stuff, you know? Grab the moss. I think adding the moss along these corners just, I don't know, it kind of gives it a, a little bit of a framing to the, to the kind of path, but not too much. Ooh, dude, daylight cycle, false. 
Let's start with the lichen though, because that's where the magic happens, I think. Because the lichen is gonna make this transition easier. Yeah, look at that. Look at that transition. I love that. We could bring in some mossy carpet, probably. The overgrown vibe would be easier to pull off now also. Yeah, definitely. But just like sprucing in some, some height differences helps, of course. Uh, honestly, I don't quite like that. If you place these more in sheets. I don't know, that definitely feels better to me. If you were to use the carpet, I think sheets, bigger sheets of it is probably better. And then, of course, we go in with the bone meal. Okay, so they grow carpet if you bone meal them. That's that's good to know. That's good to know. See, I didn't know that. What? What? Okay. Now I understand. Oh, I love this path. This feels so good. I kind of want to see what you can do with the big gradient here. The, the black to white gradient. So blackstone is the darkest one. I don't want to go darker than that. I don't even know if I want that in my gradient. Then deep slate. Let's do cobbled deep slate for now. Cracked deep slate tiles. What is this? Pog? Great. Is there anything in betwixt stone and that deep slate? Is there maybe a gray block that's named something gray? that would fit in betwixt those blocks. No, th that doesn't work. Okay, now we know. So, andesite, then we do diorite. Could probably have a layer of normal stone in here as well, just to lengthen the gray section a little bit. Then I think calcite. I mean, from there, we're basically at white. Smooth quartz, maybe? That's very off-white, actually. White concrete? Maybe we stop at calcite, honestly. Snow. Snow you're talking. Snow you're talking. Better. Maybe too bright. We could probably remove the snow and the blackstone here and we would have like a really nice gradient. White concrete powder. That's where it's at. That's where we are. That's where we're going. White concrete powder was it. It blends so well with the calcite. I mean, when you're working with like huge gradients like this, it mostly works well on like really big buildings. You can't really cram all these blocks into there, into like a smaller building, cause you just gotta have the height to like house all those blocks. Man, this sunbeam. Also, I wanna remove that. I don't like the blackstone as previously stated. You could use all these blocks as well to kind of I don't know if I have the skill to do it, but I could see someone using all these blocks to kind of like uh, highlight cliffs really well. I don't know if you've ever painted Warhammer figures, but you kind of do all the base colors first and then you go on all the edges and you kind of go with the edge highlight and do a, a brighter color and do like darker colors in all the cracks and crevices, you know, just to add like a natural shade to it. Um, I think you could do something like that with, with the cliffs if you were good at it. Um, but you could also just do like gradients on cliffs. Like if this was a shoreline cliff, you could have the darker down by the bottom so that the water has splashed up on there. You know, we could try it. Let's build a cliff. I'm going to use my standard technique of building pretty good looking, but not so realistic looking cliffs by doing them one line at a time and changing up everything in between each line. Go back, maybe like that, you know, you know, you know. Sample cliff mate. Let's try a gradient on it. These two are kind of the very middle ones. So the andesite would probably start around these parts. We would start with this down here at the bottom and we would work our way up. Okay, this isn't really tall enough for this big of a gradient really. The sun is like right in my eyes right now. Let's get down low. <laughs> Vampire. Let's uh, skip the the concrete powder as well, just because we don't have space. Okay, so we have this gradient on this cliff. Let's just see what we do. Let's bring down some stuff and up some stuff. 
very simple, small gradient scrambling right here. So that cliff looks pretty pog. I like it. But this path is something else, man. I think this would take a lot of time though to build in survival, mainly because it's so many more blocks and you kind of have to be a little bit more specific on where you place them, but it looks really nice. Like it has a really nice overgrown feel to it, I think. Imagine that by the seashore. I think that could look really cool, especially if you extend the white part, maybe add that, uh, that little bit of white concrete powder as well. You can make some really cool like, uh, British style Dover cliffs, you know? Let's try this dripstone. I think the dripstone could fit really nice with the granite and the kind of jungle wood style stuff. It's, mm, hold on. Is this the bridge that we need to be able to build with ancient debris? Dripstone kind of looks pretty pog with ancient debris. <laughs> I really like that. Also, you can bring in the brown mushroom in there, I think. Jungle wood and th this kind of vibe is a vibe, definitely. Right? But yeah, like, this is like the orange to off-white section, you know? It's like orange, brown, gr brown, gray, off-white, you know? Yeah, that's pretty much like my biggest ideas for 1.17, implementing these blocks into my regular sort of gradients and, and palettes like this. I just wanna build some cool stuff, to be honest. I will not be transferring the build a thing world to 1.17 until shaders come out. I think we're done with 1.17 stuff, unless we're gonna build a house.